Hi guys, welcome to Matsy with me, Miss Resi, your teacher for today. Now, the equation is in standard form. Let us determine the following. Now, what formula are we going to use if this is the equation? So, let's use this one. So when you use this equation, the orientation will become horizontal. To determine the coordinates of the center, we need to get the h and k value which is positive 2 and 0. So we use h and k as the value for our center. How about for vertices? For the vertices, let's use this. This is the value of a squared. Our a squared is 16. Square root of both sides. We have a is equal to 4. Now let's substitute the values. So the coordinate of the vertices is for call vertices. Let's use this one. So let's get first the value of p squared. It's equal to four. Get the square root of both sides, we have 2. So let's substitute. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem. Now subtract 16 minus 4 is 12. Get the square root of both sides. We have for the foci, we use this. So let's substitute. So our coordinates for foci is 2 plus 3.46 is around 5.46. For the directrix, we use this one. Substitute the values we have. So let's solve two plus four point six two. If you divide sixteen divided by three point forty six. And 2 minus 4.62. For the directrix, we have 2 plus 4 is 6.62. And the other one is 2 minus 4 is negative 2.62. So let's grab this.
So this is the graph for Now let's identify the coordinates of the following. Let's have example number one. So let's use this formula. For this formula, the orientation is horizontal. For the center, we get to use the value of H and K, which is positive 2 and positive 1. For the vertices, let's use this. So let's get the value of A squared. For our vertices, we have for the posi, we use this one. So for the value of C, so C is equal to square root of 12, it's 3.46. So substitute the values. Therefore, our coordinates for the foci For the equation of the directrix, we need this one. Substitute the values we have. Divide this is 4.62. So therefore, our directrix is equal to Now let's grab this.
So let's have example 2. This means the graph of the equation is an ellipse that is vertically oriented. How did you say so? So with this formula, to get the coordinates of the center, we have the H and K here. For the vertices, we use this formula. So what's the value of A? Now let's substitute. For co-vertices, we use this formula. The value of b squared is equal to 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So substitute the value. Therefore, our co-vertices is 2 plus 2 is 4, comma 1, and the other one is 2 minus 2 is 0, comma 1. So, for the foci, we use this formula. For this, we need to solve for C. So, C is equal to square root of 12 is 3.46. Substitute the values we have. So we use this for the directrix. So because this is vertical, our y is equal to 5.62 and the other one is 3.62 negative let's graph this 